In this video, we're going to take a look at my latest retro space mock right here on Beyond the Brick. Hey everybody, Boone here. I'm excited to show you my most recent creation. SlabDreamLab.com, the creators of custom printed LEGO compatible base plates, sponsored this video. They sent me the Rocky Planet Play Pack and challenged me to build a creation of my own on this set of interlocking base plates. First, let's open up the pack and then I'll show you some of the details of my build. These base plates have a wonderful space themed Rocky Planet print on them and they all fit together seamlessly to create one large image that is 24 by 48 inches or 76 by 152 studs. The corners and edges are virtually seamless and the prints on these base plates line up perfectly. The quality of the printing on these base plates seems really good. They've definitely gone a more photorealistic route with these prints than LEGO tends to do on official base plates, which could be really cool depending on the type of play or display you're interested in using them for. The one thing I find a little puzzling in this particular image is that it shows the ground and the sky in the same plane. I might have preferred just the ground to use as a base plate and or just the sky to use as a backdrop. Now let's dive into the mock. A few years ago, I collaborated on a large space layout with my friends Perry, Brett, and Mark that was featured right here on Beyond the Brick. While most of that creation is in pieces, I've saved the rocket ship and the monorail, and I've given them a new home with this build. I call this the Brick Rogers Rocky Planet Outpost. I've placed another large base plate from Slab Dream Lab printed with an outer space image as the background of this mock. Here we have a launch pad for the rocket, a boarding platform, and a base platform with monorail station and a control tower. I can use LEGO powered up programming to run the monorail clockwise or counterclockwise. The dish on top of the control tower changes direction to receive transmissions from other worlds and the space flight controllers monitor the activity from inside the control tower. When the monorail stops at the station, a set of stairs can be used to deboard. From this deck of the station, minifigures can check a bank of gauges on the exterior of the tower. I thought it would be fun to put an old-fashioned analog clock in this cluster as a nod to the types of classic science fiction that inspired this retro spaceman minifigure. The front of the tower features a space door where minifigures can access the interior, as well as an antenna array to send and receive transmissions throughout the outpost and the surface of the planet. From here, minifigures can walk down a set of stairs to the boarding platform. Another retro space minifigure stands at the control station, and with the help of my powered up app, we can lower the ladder for boarding the rocket and raise it back up when it's time for takeoff. On the planet's surface, a couple of minifigures search for rare minerals. They have one of the toughest jobs on the rocky planet, but they appear to be making a good time of it. Now here's a couple things you might not notice at first glance. I have some Duplo pieces hiding in plain sight in this build. I wanted both of these platforms to be raised off the surface, so I used these tall Duplo bricks in the footings of both platforms. The folks at Slab Dream Lab encouraged me to try Duplo on their base plates and the clutch power is really quite strong. And that's great because using these big Duplo bricks allowed me to build up my platforms fast. I also think the clutch power of these plates with standard system brick is a bit tighter than official LEGO base plates, which could be really good if you need to travel to fan conventions or LEGO exhibits with your creations. I think it is worth mentioning that because the sides of the studs are not printed, the farther you move away from a 90 degree angle of view, the more of the white color of the plastic plate itself begins to show, obscuring the image that's printed a bit. But it still looks cool, just not quite as good as it does when it is viewed from a direct 90 degree angle. I also needed to run cables from under the station platform to operate the ladder motor on the boarding platform, but I didn't want the cable to look out of place, so I ran alongside it some flex tubing and Technic hose to make it look like a bundle of various flexible wires and conduits running from one part of the station to the other. I also included a bit of this type of greebling in other areas to make the build look more natural. I had so much fun with this build, revisiting the universe of one of my all-time favorite LEGO minifigures. Thanks to Slab Dream Lab for making this build and this video possible. 
go to slabdreamlab.com or click on the link in the video description to check out all of the awesome printed base plates they have to offer. If you want to see more of my mocks, you can find me at Boon Builds on Instagram. And if you want to see awesome Lego videos every day, don't forget to subscribe to Beyond the Brick on YouTube and follow Beyond the Brick on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Until next time, thanks for watching.